Hi, I'm Jenny with Design Fitness. Got bands? Today we're going to do an upper body resistance band workout sprinkled with a little cardio intervals. We're going to do reps for the band work and we're going to use a timer for the cardio intervals. All you need is a band and a little bit of space to move around. I'm going to complete an entire circuit with you today and if you want to do more rounds then just replay the video. Um, go ahead and complete a warm-up of your own today, um, focusing on making sure that you're moving your arms in all different directions as part of that warm-up. Also today, I'm going to be using the, a medium resistance flat band. If you stick around after the um, circuit ends, I'll give you some tips on how to use a tubular resistance band with handles, if that's what you have at home. Alright everybody, let's get started. All right, I hope you got a warm up in. Let's go ahead and start our circuit. Let's take our band. I'm gonna adopt a staggered stance here. I'm gonna put one foot underneath the band. We're gonna do a basic bicep curl. So set those shoulders down and back, pull that core in, give that band a test rep, okay? You always, before you do your resistance band exercise, exercises, always uh, do sort of a test rep to make sure that you have the right tension. And I got it set, so let's go. 15 reps. One, two, really squeeze at the top of that movement. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. All right, let's get into our first cardio interval. We're gonna do a scissor. I've got about a five foot line marked out here, and I'm gonna uh, move right and left, scissoring like this. If you don't want to jump, you're just going to step. All right, let me start my timer. I got five seconds to get ready. Three, two, one, and go. All right, so we're just scissoring right and left. We're going to have 40 seconds. Keep it up. All right, once you got your move down, if you want to add in arms, you can. <laughs> Some days we're more coordinated than others and it's easier. But go ahead and add those arms. That's just going to get your heart rate up a little bit more. Keep it up. 10 seconds, you got this, two, and one, nice, okay, take your band, we're going to wrap it around, hold it out in front of you, I'm going to wrap it around my hands for comfort, we're going to do a sort of a horizontal punch, this is going to work your shoulders and your triceps. So I'm going to bring my arms into my chest, set my shoulders down, but we're just at shoulder level. We're going to punch out to the left and then punch out to the right. We're going to be doing 15 reps on each side, so a total of 30 reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, really get full extension, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, almost there, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Great. For our second cardio interval, we're going to do hop across and hop back. So we're going to be hopping across one, two, three, four. And we're going to move forward and back. Let me get my timer started. I got five seconds to get ready. Three, two, one, and go. All right, so these line drills, we're sort of moving 
and all planes of motion and sort of testing our coordination and agility. Keep it up. Moving forward and back. You got it. We got about 15 seconds left. Keep it up. One, two, three, four. Yes. You can do it. A few seconds. Nice. Good job. All right, this next exercise is a pull apart. We're gonna take the band, palms up, set those shoulders down and back. Pull in your core. I like a staggered stance so that I don't arch my back. We're gonna be pulling that band open to about chest height, okay? Don't get too high because you'll tend to shrug. Okay, so about right here. Here we go. Give it a test pull. All right, I'm in a good spot. And one, two, squeeze those shoulder blades. Your shoulder blades are what is moving the band. And I've lost count. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Nice. All right, last cardio interval. So we're going to be running forward, tapping right, backpedaling, running forward, tapping left, backpedaling. Let me set my timer. All right. Three, two, one, and go. All right, guys, tapping right, tapping left and back pedaling. Good job. You got it. We got about 15 seconds left. <laughs> Almost there. Five seconds. Keep going. Good job. All right. Last exercise is a lap pull. So with this lap pull, you don't have to wrap the band, but I am because I feel like I have more control when I do that. All right, so you're gonna be sort of a little bit wider than shoulder length apart. So you see that's kind of a Y and you're gonna raise it up overhead. I'm gonna step back and move to the side. The band is slightly in front of your forehead because when you pull down, if you're right over your head, you're gonna knock yourself in the head. So we're just in front of our face and we're gonna pull down with a straight arm on the right and pull down with a straight arm on the left. Let me face you. I'm gonna lunge down so that you can see the band. All right, and left. I really want you to think about squeezing your lat when you do this exercise. Let's go. All right. Like I said, you don't have to adopt the lunge. You can just be standing uh, like this. Here we go. One, two, squeeze that lat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, almost there, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. 
All right, guys, we're done with our circuit. Go ahead and repeat the video if you want to do more rounds or stick around and I'll give you some tips on how to do this workout using, uh, using a tubular resistance band with handles. All right, if you're using a tubular resistance band for this workout, I have just a couple of tips. First of all, for the uh, bicep curl, if you just step on it with one foot, that's probably not gonna be enough resistance. So you're probably going to need to step on it with two feet. The closer your feet are together, that'll be less resistance. And if you need more tension, then you'll step your feet apart. For the other exercises, sometimes these handles can get in a way, get in the way and flop around. I suggest putting them on, um, putting them on your forearms like this, okay, and then taking the band and wrapping it for the other exercises. So for the horizontal punch, I'm just taking this and I'm wrapping it around, getting the right amount of tension, okay. I can pull it up to my chest and do that horizontal punch left or right. And it's real easy to adjust the tension by moving your hands in or out. Then for the pull apart, it's gonna be the exact same. I'll put my arms out straight, pull open. And then for the lat pull down, exact same thing. So I'll step back so you can see. I sort of have my, uh, I'm wider than shoulder width apart. I go up over my head and then I can pull down and that handle is not slopping me in the face. There you have it. I hope those tips help.